make it understood that G is for goodness. Now you probably weren't full. Thank you. Are you the me? H is for help. Make things easy for someone in need. Do a good deed. You can take the lead. H is for help. Thank goodness. I is for inclusion. Include everyone. When it's time to play, invite a new friend. Yay! It might make their day. I is for inclusion. J is for justice. Everyone deserves it. When they're treated wrong, speak up and be strong. Try to make things right. J is for justice. Karina, el salto. Ha! K is for kindness. Being nice to others. It's all you need to do. And helpful too. If someone's feeling blue, K is for kindness. Oh, thank you. L is for listening. Be quiet and respectful. When others speak, don't interrupt and don't disrupt. L is for listening. It's okay to be grumpy sometimes. You just have to talk about it. M is for music. Music is fun. It's made of different sounds by different people. From around the world, M is for music. N is for nice, be kind and polite. And welcome all, help those who fall. No act is too small, N is for nice. O is for open, learn something new. Always listen, always try. Always ask questions, O is for open. P is for peace, living in harmony. Feeling and no fighting with anyone. P is for peace. I'm sorry, everyone. Let's make some music. <laughs> Q is for question. Ask for information when you don't understand and need a hand. Asking can help out. Q is for question. Hold on, what? R is for respect, everyone deserves it. It's our job to listen, it's our job to learn. To make their voices heard, R is for respect. <laughs> S is for speak up, be a good friend. If someone won't share, say that's unfair. To show you care, S is for speak up. That's not nice, Shadow. T is for teamwork. It's how we make the dream work. Here's how we begin. If we all chip in, then we all can win. T is for teamwork. U is for use. Use your voice. When you see something or hear something, you can speak up. U is for you. Value the things that mean a lot to you. Things like fairness, like happiness, like friendship. V is for value. <gasps> everyone, look! W is for welcome. Make everyone feel included. When someone is new, say howdy do. Then go skidoo. W is for welcome. Glad you made it. We wouldn't miss this race for the world. X is for extra, extra special. We have things to say in our special way. Each and every day, X is for extra. <gasps> you, you came. Y is for you. Why is for 
for you. It's changing back. Whoa. Z is for zeal, excitement for real. Real differences, real special skills, real friendships. Z is for zeal. It's always so much fun to celebrate diversity With our ABCs, with our ABCs, with our ABCs Let's celebrate diversity When I look up at a rainbow So much 
much we do There's always something fun and new With a friend like you Sometimes the greatest friends see things a different way But when we disagree, we know that we're okay We're together, thick and thin This friendship road has no end I'm so happy you are my friend So much we do It's always something fun and new With a friend like you I found a friend like you So much we share, so much we do It's always something fun and new With a friend like you Hair can be a form of self-expression. Here are some examples of how we style and take care of our hair. Mr. Bird, I got new braids. This is Little Lens, where black kids tell our stories. My mommy's braiding my hair today. Hi, my name is Nisa, and my mom's gonna do my hair today. Hi, my name is Arian, and today my mom's gonna show you how she does my locks. Hi, I'm Tyere, and I'm 14. I like to do a lot with my hair. My hair is in locks because my dad was growing his hair, and I didn't like haircuts. Grease from root to tip. I'm gonna start by twisting, and I'm gonna do a full with palm roll. It takes about two hours. My hair hairstyle is out when it's straight. It takes a while for my mommy to do my hair a lot. My grandma does it a lot of times too. Who does my hair the best is my mommy. Okay, maybe both. I can't choose, they're both good. She detangles my hair so she can brush through it. My favorite hairstyle, I don't really know the name of it. It's just curly. I love it. My mom makes hair jewelry. She made this for me, and it says love. My mom uses rose water. It helps moisturize your hair. We're gonna plait the rest of the back of your hair, so that way you can wear hair and a braid out later on. And then I put these jewelry on for you. Oh, thank you, Mommy. <laughs> You're welcome. You're the best. What my dad will do is he'll cut the sides. He'll do a high or low fade. It's like really crisp. All right, still your favorite haircut, huh? Mm-hmm. So you want a low fade? No, like a high fade. Just like Samson and Delilah, a Samson got his strength from his locks. And that makes me feel strong too. I get my strength from my locks. May your heart be light as a feather, filled with joy and knowing you're protected. Yeah, I'm cool. So like, we do Sunday dinners. Sunday family dinners, grilled fish, or we'll make like wings, the macaroni, season the chicken, or like the cornbread. I love to make salad, cause that's like one of the main things that I'm really good at. This is Little Lens, where black kids tell our stories. Sunday dinner is a black family tradition where everyone comes together to eat and create joyful memories. Hi, I'm Monet. Hi, I'm Naomi. And, and this, this is our Sunday family dinner. Hi, I'm Tyre. I'm 14, and we're having a Bajan and Caribbean dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of have the same thing every Sunday. And it's mostly because it's kind of like a tradition. I, I love to cook. I always help her like grind the cheese and, you know, put all the seasonings together. And I would say Sunday is probably like my favorite day of the week because we all get to be together. We all get to cook together, you know, just laugh and have fun and enjoy ourselves while cooking. It just brings a good amount of joy and laughter. <laughs> So we like to joke around. It really just 
brightens the day. If you were having a bad day, I mean, just wait till Sunday dinner, you'll be happy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the food I've actually received. Let's prepare it for us. In we pray. Amen. 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 My mom's family is from Barbados. I'm not going to Barbados for crap over this year. I'd like to. One of our family traditions is going down to Barbados and going to crop over. The big carnival is on the first Monday in August. The crop over is like this really big festival that like ends the harvest time in Barbados. Some of the Caribbean and Bayesian food that we have includes like grilled fish, shrimp and crab legs. It's like really good. So yes, I made some fish cakes. You gonna take the whole plate, buddy? Yeah, mm -hmm. just oh. for me, all for me. <laughs> what is fish cakes made with? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's codfish inside of batter, right? So flour and codfish and pepper. <laughs> you don't have to have superpowers to be a hero. Each of our families are filled with everyday heroes. This is Little Lens, where black kids tell our stories. My grandpa is my hero. My dad is my sparrow. Hi, my name is Blake and I'm 10 years old. And my name is Gus. I'm the grandfather of Blake. My grandpa was the first black person to go to his middle school and play football there. Made the quarterback, made the starting position. We got to our first ball game and the team just let me down. <laughs> his coach had to pull him out of the game because his lineman went to block for him and the other team wanted to hurt him. It was scary at first. Two or three games later, I was able to stay in the game. My grandpa is my hero because it was brave of him to keep going to that middle school. My name is Olivia and I'm 10 years old. My hero might just be my family. Our family comes from a really strong background of being the first to do things. This is my Uncle Steve. He was the first black drum major at his high school. This is my Aunt Virginia. The Virginia was the first to go to the local high school. They were determined to get educated. That's my grandpa, Popsy. Your grandfather, Popsy, was one of the first black people to be an executive for a large oil company. That's my grandma. She spent a lot of time in the civil rights and really fighting for black people. When I heard about my grandma, I sent her a message saying, I never knew this about you. I remember meeting Dr. King's daughter before. My grandma told me that was related to the King family too. And these are all my family reunion t-shirts and pictures. A family reunion is the whole family coming together and celebrating together. I have a really strong family. It makes me feel really proud. I feel like I could do it too because I see someone who looks like me. I'm like, yes, I could actually do this. Art can be a tool of self-expression. Check out the unique ways we explore and express our creativity. This is Little Lens, where black kids tell our stories. Dancing makes me feel happy. I learn forms and how to protect myself. I love that it's a small version of a guitar. It's good for my small hands. Hi, my name's Rudy and I'm nine years old. I've been dancing for six years since I was three. When I'm dancing, my emotions match with the music. I feel very open and I feel very alive. I look up to Missy Copeland because I feel like I could do it too because I see someone who's like, looks like me. My name is Bukhari. I'm nine years old, and I'm gonna show you Tang Soo Do. Tang Soo Do is a Korean form of martial arts that has been on this planet for a long time. I like Tang Soo Do because I get to learn different kicks and different forms and different hand movements, punches, blocks. 
just kick round like this. My favorite move is jump front kick because pretty much you get to jump, switch, and then kick. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hi, my name is Ariana. I'm 12 years old. I picked up the ukulele when I was about eight or nine. I used YouTube videos to teach myself. I just looked at other people's hands, learned some of the chords. I love ballet because it's a challenge, it's so technical, and to me, I feel like a different person when I dance. I might be sad, and then when I start dancing, I just forget whatever happened. I feel protected because I'm learning how to defend myself. It's just really fun to play. It's a good, unique skill to have. Tangsu Do means honor, friendship. It's a cool thing that I get to learn. I like playing the ukulele because it's just another way to express myself. So my name. When my mom's friend was pregnant, that just popped up in her head, Mesa. This is Little Lens, where black kids tell our stories. Everyone has a unique story and meaning behind how they got their name. Here's how we got ours. Hi, my name is Nesa, and I'm eight years old. Hi, my name is Bakari, and I'm nine years old. Hi, my name is Ariana, and I'm 12 years old. N-A-Y-S-A. N-A-Y is nay, and then the S-A part is sa, nay. Some of my friends call me Nay. My little sister, Kitu, she's two years old. She always calls me Nay Nay, but now that she's getting older, which I'm not ready for it yet, she calls me Nay. I think that it's a great name. It means a miracle of God in the Hebrew. It makes me actually feel like a miracle. B A K A. R-I. Bakari. Well, my name is Swahili, and it means promising. The name makes me feel good because promising means success in the future. Here's the story. I was in the hospital for three days with no name, and my dad was looking through his African book of names to find one for me. And then the third day, he found the name Bakari. It makes me feel kind and bright. My name is spelled A-R-I-A-N-A. -A -A. Ariana. The first part of Ariana is Ari, and Ari means um, lineness of God. Then the Ana part means graceful. They were originally gonna name me Savannah, but my dad didn't like the nickname, Savvy, and my aunt wanted to name her daughter Savannah. So she found the name Ariana and they loved it. Yeah, I really like the meaning of my name. It makes me feel strong, but also lets me know like I can be graceful and like girly. My name means everything to me. It means joy, it means peace, kind. Graceful. Gratitude. Happy. I love it. It means a lot of things to me. You can ask your parents to subscribe to the Nick Jr. YouTube channel for new videos every day. And find more of your favorite shows on TV on Nickelodeon and the Nick Jr. channel.